setting up the margins of your page now the margins is basically the area between the main content of your of your page and the edge of your page so you can see that we have the inner margin and the outer margins for each page and to set up the margins you can simply go to the this same website and then scroll down until you see where it says margins you're going to see the guide based on the number of pages that are going to be in your book so you can take a look at the margins for a bleed book and for a bleed page and a no bleed page now setting up margins is a little bit tricky this is just a guide but you can always try to add the margins if you want the space to be a bit white so that during the printing process when they're creating the book it doesn't the the, the text doesn't smudge in it doesn't go um right inside the quarters so i don't know if that makes sense All right so i'm going to be using this one these are uh, margins and to change the margins go to layout and then click margins and click custom margins and then come down here where it says multiple pages and where it says normal click on the drop down arrow beside normal and then you're going to choose mirror margins now the reason why we're going to be choosing mirror margins is because we want to see how the page the right and the left page there is going to actually look like um so you can see this is the margins this is the inner margins for the left book or uh, for the left page and this is the inner margins for the right page so you're able to see how it looks like so you can see the outer margins for the left page and the outer margins for the right page so you can now do your adjustments and then you see how it's going to actually look like when the book is printed how the contents of your book is going to be within the um the margins all right so you can come here where it says inside and then we're going to put the inside margins which is 0 0.375 and then the outside margins again since it's a it's a bleed book um 0 0.375 so you can see that you can see the inner margins uh the in the inside margins for the left page and the inside margins for the right page is a little bit too small we can play around with it so i'm going to be playing around with it a bit you can also change the top margins in case you you can put put the same size um you can just change it play around with the the figures depending on what you like and that is why I say setting up margins is a little bit tricky because there isn't any uh, a perfect guide, a perfect guide for setting up margins. So that is why having being able to see the mirror margins, so you see how the inner gutters or the the inner margins for each for the left and the right pages that are going to look like is a perfect way to set up your margins. So again, you can. You don't want your margins to be too big or to be too small. So when you're setting up your margins, you have to not you have to have a specific idea of how you want your margins to be, how large or how small your margins are supposed to be. Personally, I always like to have a more wider inside margins than the outside margins because during the binding process of the book, that is the two sides, that is the right and the left side are going to meet together and then you're going to have them bind within. Okay, they're going to create sort of like a gutter within the book. So I don't want the text, my text to probably go within or to get lost within that gutter during the binding process. So I don't know if that makes sense, but <laughs> that is how best I can explain it. All right, so I'm going to go with this size uh that's the inside and the outside margins and then i'm going to click ok and then click ignore and my margins have been set all right all right guys so we have finally come to the end of this video and if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button and also share the video to those you know it might help them and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please hit that subscribe button to join the family so that you get notified every time we upload a video tutorial right so see you in the next video and stay blessed